Hello everybody and welcome to Shrine of Cards. In the developer's words, Shrine of Cards, Cards is a game that they made in about three to four days for the per Pursuing Pixels Jam. And here is an overview of the game. Now I'm just reading the itch description. But this is a little card game that was made in less than a week for the Pursuing Pixels Game Jam. Now it's a uh, kind of a deck builder sort of thing, but you're trying to build a shrine. It's easier to explain once we get in game. So first off, the music slaps, but this is our shrine, right? Our goal is to use our cards to build this shrine. Occasionally, enemies are going to spawn behind the shrine, and we're going to have to kill them. But this is what we use to build the shrine, these supplies, right? And then every seven days, um, we we get uh, to pick a new card to add to the deck. Um, Right-clicking ends the turn. Pressing F makes the game full screen, and that's basically your controls. You click stuff, and that's it. So we're going to start building our shrine. Um, once we finish five of these little pips, uh, then this starts to light up. Once it's fully lit up, shrine's completed, and we can move forward and win the game, basically. So that, that's how you win, is you, you fill that up. So um, there really ain't much I can do here, so I'm just going to end the turn. So one marauder is added to the board. We have an enemy. So he deals one to two damage per turn, and that's to the shrine, not to me. If the shrine... So HP hits zero, we lose, obviously. Um, so I do have an attack card, so I can smack him. And we're going to build this, and that's going to be it for that turn. We get to play three of the five cards that we draw per turn. So each turn, we get to play um, X number of cards. Uh-oh. I'm actually going to draw some cards first to hopefully get an attack, take out one of these demons, which randomly reduces HP, mana, or supplies by one each turn which isn't really something I want to have to deal with. And then we're going to build one piece. And then he hits it and he takes out the supplies. So he beats part of my shrine down. Now there's three of them. So something that the developer did note in the uh, in the description of this game is that because it was made in three to four days, it's not very well balanced. So just kind of keep that in mind. This game is completely free, which I think I forgot to mention in the top. And as always, with all these games that I cover on itch.io, if you would like a, uh, a quick download for this, um, just go to itch.io slash app, and then you can download it within the app and not have to worry about managing folders for DRM free stuff. You can just download the game like that. Very simple. Um, so we've now got three demons up here, which is kind of, um, a royal pain. So we're going to start off with what I did previously, draw an extra card, and then we're going to build up the shrine a little bit, and hopefully it doesn't beat us down too heavily. All right, so we get to draw one less card this turn because they're being mean to us. These are really rough enemies to run into right off the bat. Well, I can regain some mana and regain some health. But then I just end the turn because there isn't anything else I can do there. A spirit mass has been added to the board. We do have a sword though now, so I can hit this. Deals one damage each turn. Uh, damage increases by one each turn. We're just going to kill that before it causes us problems. Place the two of those and end the turn. Calm day. Nothing of note happens. Well, that's good. At least we get a win for once. So now is where we get to select a new card. So I'm going to take this one because I actually really like this one, which is uh, play your next card twice. The most successful run I've had with this in testing uh, was because of this, so. So, uh, it's not actually what exactly what I wanted to do, but we can do this. We can finish the first level of our shrine, but that also um, uses almost all of my stuff. We could heal it, or I could regen some mana. Let's regen some mana. I think we're just going to end right there. I think that was all my card uses anyway. So now we've got another Marauder on their board. I'm really hoping that we'll get the opportunity to hit two of them off. We need to get rid of the Marauder right away so that it doesn't start adding. All right. As long as we can keep our mana up, we should be fine. They added a Spectre to the board. Let's just do this. Build two pieces onto you and regain some mana. Smack, smack, smack. Fortunately, the random event cleared the enemies. Um, so now I get to, well, regen some mana. Oh, that uses four mana, geez. Okay. Um, well, I can draw some more cards. Let's do that. And I guess we'll just build. Should have just built more instead of drawing the more cards, but I was kind of hoping I, I would get a, a mana regen, but here we are. So I can heal us, but I don't know the mana. 
So let's place that. Place that. Give us all the mana that we need. And then heal the shrine and end the turn. It's going to hit it. Add one spirit and one specter. So the specter reduces mana, which is something I really need gone. Oh, man. If only I had mana. Then we could attack twice. Try drawing three cards real quick. Okay, so that gives me some mana. That gets me up to what I need. Can okay, I use you? Oh, man. Man. I effed that up real bad. Oh, well. And that's not going to hold over till the next day either. But, uh, skip the next day in environment phase. Uh, gain one to three supplies. Regen five HP. Um, I need mana. I need mana real bad. Let's go for that. I'm curious to see if it um, just places it on the board or if it builds it. Oh, interesting. So the, um, I just learned something. The, uh, your next card that you do does the thing twice uh, holds over to the next turn, so. Okay, so it goes, the, the supplies go straight into the statue then, or into the shrine. At least it's not a bad increase. We just have no mana whatsoever. I really need a full board clear or something. Let's just start smacking these as best as I can. I could have taken more mana, but they're just hitting the mana anyway, so what's the point? Um, I mean, a lot of things are the point. All right, well, I can't use you. Can regen, regen, regen 5 HP and build up the shrine a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is the end of me for this one's. Yeah, this looks this looks pretty bad. Well, at least I have mana now, but it's not going to be able to do much. Because they're just going to win this turn regardless. Yep. Let's try this again. Because I, I do quite like the aesthetic of this game. I think that's the thing that really drew me to it, is I, I really kind of love the visuals of this backdrop. It looks really nice. And just the way everything kind of bounces and feels. Like, balance aside, like I, I acknowledge that that's probably a just going to be an issue with this game, right? Balance aside, this game is just really good looking and very satisfying to play. I'd love to see it getting another balance pass, though. Uh, let's just wait. Okay, so we get our first enemy on the board. Unfortunately, it's something I can kill right away. Let's keep building. So every seven days is when you select new cards. But we are very limited on what we can do for fighting currently. Hmm. Let's smack you. Could draw three cards, but then I can only use one more. It might give me another sword, though. No, it didn't. All right, well. Not much I can hope for, then. We'll just build up the level. I was really hoping we get another sword so we could just kill that and just not to worry about it. But it begins... All right, sweet. I can just throw another attack card in my deck. That's what we really need. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's smack you and smack you so that you don't, like, replicate. And then we'll build up on that a little bit. That's what we need is just more attack cards in the deck. As long as we can have more attack cards, we're, we're in a good spot. Um, I think we're going to draw three more cards. And then just build. Build, 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 build. The specter itself is not too big of a threat on its own. It's when there's other things in there like that. Okay, let's smack you and smack and smack the specter. Let's gain one to three mana. And I'd regain some HP, but we're, you know, we, we, I, I, my turn was over, so. So that pushes me back by one turn, which is the random event. We lo just some lost time, essentially. Uh, I think we're just going to end the turn, actually. One Marauder and one Scavenger. Now... The scavenger needs to go away, but only if we have supplies on the statue, but we don't. This needs to go away, however. So we're going to get rid of you, and we're going to get rid of you, and then we just need to get rid of him before we start putting supplies onto the thing again. Because there's nothing for him to steal right now. But we can fill it up anyway. Or rather, there is stuff for him to steal. He takes away the ones that I've already constructed. I thought that once those had been built, he couldn't do that, but I misunderstood how the card works, apparently. Uh, let's use that, but that's all of our cards. But it also heals us back up, so we're, we're in a better spot now. Sprained ankle, take one damage. Come on. Rude. Let's take you out. 
Goodbye. Thank you. Um, let's regen some mana. And end the turn. Another day passes. Moving forward, add one Spectre onto the board. Hi. So let, let's do the play next card twice, because that, that is one that I really, really like. Combine that with a lot of combat. Especially if it's like the last thing I use in a turn. Let's gain some mana. Let's use this and then play the next card we play twice for the next turn. I hope we get something good. Perfect. Now we can use that twice, clear the board, give us some mana, and that's all of our cards for that turn. It's just such a good vibe. I, I, so like some of you might be pointing at this or at this video right now and going, blind, you don't like card games. You know what? It, you got me. It's true. I'm pretty active about yelling about how I don't really like card games, but there's one specific mechanic in card games that bothers me, and that's the one where you have a list of a full set of cards that are in your deck, and you have to manage the cards that are in that deck to make an optimal build, in air quotes. I don't like that at all. But if it's a super minimal game where you just get given a selection of cards to choose from, or like three every X number of turns or whatnot, I'm totally fine with that. It's when you have to start from the beginning and spend, like, you know, in Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, when you sit there for, like, four hours, like, selecting all of the cards that you want to put into this deck. I, that part of the game, those types of games, I do not like at all. However, games like this that are very, not, simple is the wrong word, but games like this that are very quick and satisfying and don't fall into the hole of, oh, you get to spend the next few hours min-maxing a very, 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 very specific build. I do not enjoy that. And I've, I don't believe I've ever actually enjoyed that in a video game. I'm not really a build kind of person. And then, like, usually what ends up happening is I'll, I'll end up going online and finding somebody else's build and then not being very satisfied with how their build plays. We're just going to meditate and end the turn up one early. Add one Marauder to the board. So when I talk about not liking uh, card games, it's not that I don't like card games. I don't like deck building. <laughs> but games like this, which are super simple, and the deck is already pre-built, and that's what you get to play with, this type of game I quite enjoy. Remove all enemy cards from the board. Ooh, that's a lot of mana, though. Or I could just get more attacks. I think we're just going to take more attacks, but that is really tempting. So let's just smack you. And uh, that's all three of my cards. We're about halfway done here. Definitely doing better than that first run. I guess it kind of helps as well that, like, you know, the game's not that balanced. So I guess rounds where you win, you will just win, right? Once again, it's just it's left-click to click cards, right-click to end your turn. Very, 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 very simple. Okay, well, we can kill you. And I'm going to see if I can just keep one of these in my hand at all times. Lose one supplies, but recover all mana. All right. Oh, man, I, I should have. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I, I should have just built twice, but tis fine. Yeesh. See, this is why I've put all these attacks in my deck. So that I can just clear them real quick like that. Remove an enemy card. Also, because this game is really simple due to the fact that, you know, it's a, a card game that was made in, a, like, a week, um, it, it is also skipping a lot of the things that I would find annoying about a game like this. Lose 10 HP, gain 5 supplies, and summon a demon. Interesting. I'm trying to think how that would help me. I guess to just finish... That might be something that you sit on and don't use until the, like, the last level, basically. Let's just end the turn. But we're getting close to the end here. Demon Knight. Uh, we'll end turn. There ain't too much I can do. He's going to start hitting me in a way that I don't like. 
but we have plenty of... That's not actually the button I wanted to hit, but fine. <laughs> I can clear them pretty easily, but that's all the cards I can play, so... It's just a neat idea for a little game. You're building a shrine and having to fend off monsters. And then later adventurers can come through and uh, use your shrine. I think this is the last piece. I think. Let's smack you. Use that and end the turn. So the next card that we get to use, we get to use twice. Perfect. So I guess maybe this is the last one? It looks pretty complete to me. I'd be lying if I said I'd seen the end of this, so let's gain some mana. Oh, hey, that is our victory. Sweet! Apparently you can go over the victory. So little, little, little card game. Not too difficult. Questionable balance. Neat theme. Neat idea. And it's free. Go check it out. If you're interested in this and you want to check the game out, just go over there and tell the devs I sent you on their... Uh on the itch.io page. And also maybe try some other games from the Pursuing Pixels Game Jam and go rate some games over there if you want, if you're so interested. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this of games that you probably haven't heard of, free games and paid games alike, uh, you can go over to my YouTube channel where you can find lots of video games of that sort. And if you want to see me play games live with my face cam on, you can go over to twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L for my face while I'm playing video games. And if you would like to... Uh, you know, support this channel directly. Super Thanks is active where you can tip via a comment or you can go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon.